optimum tune an automatic controller means to select the most suitable mode adjustments to control a given process. For a three-mode controller, the number of possible adjustments is infinite. So, how do we select the optimum combination? First, we must know the type of process or pin record we wish to achieve as a result of proper tuning. Four different records are shown here. We will call the pin record drawn by the process measurement a curve. The record the process draws on returning to the control point after an upset is called the recovery curve. Quarter decay recovery curve is generally considered to be the optimum. Quarter decay means the magnitude of each cycle after the first one is one fourth as large as the preceding one. Our goal will be to tune the controller. to get this response from the process. All processes do not respond to an upset or a command in the same manner. The ability to respond to a given input is a function of the capacity and lags in the system. The time required for the pin to make one complete cycle on the chart is called the period of the process. The period for a process C is short compared to that for process A. The period of one cycle of a process is governed by the capacity and dead time or lag in the system. The ratio of the magnitude of one cycle to the preceding one is called the amplitude ratio of the curve. Tuning adjustments can make the amplitude ratio greater than one, less than one, equal to one, or the optimum for the given process. The process curves we have shown are those made by closed loop control. Much information about the process is revealed by observing its reaction to a step change while in open loop status. This means the control valve stem position remains stationary while the pen moves across the chart. This can be done by placing the controller on manual. Line out the record. This means the process curve should be as near a straight line as possible. Make a small step change to the process by moving the manual adjustment slightly. This will reposition the control valve slightly. The response the process makes to the open loop step change is called the reaction curve of the process. Remember, the controller is on manual. The process pin should move to a new position and line out. The reaction curve may resemble A or B, or an infinite number of possibilities. Note the difference in the time, TA and TB, before the process reacted to the step change.
The time, t, and the slope of the curve give us information we will apply to one tuning method to be learned later in this lesson. Again, the time to respond and the slope of the curve are dependent upon the capacity and the lags and dead time in the control loop. Now work exercise one in your workbook. Before making mode adjustments, we will review what effect the adjustments have on the control system. Proportional action, or gain, is a negative feedback within the controller. It tends to cancel the effect of the input. It has a stabilizing effect on the system. Reset, or integral action, is a positive feedback. It tends to make the system unstable. For this reason, when we have a system stable with a given gain setting, and then increase the reset action, the system may be unstable. Rate action increases the gain while the pen is moving. The increase is directly proportional to the rate at which the pen is moving. Where applicable and up to a certain point, the addition of rate will stabilize a control loop. But too long a rate time will make the system unstable. Rate action is applicable to temperature and level control loops, some pressures, and rarely, if ever, in a flow loop. This illustration shows typical responses to a set point change for different mode settings. This shows the same responses to a process change. The last two frames will be included in the workbook. Again, we show the one-quarter decay curve and the period of one complete cycle for the process. These are very important criteria for all our tuning procedures. There are as many procedures for controller tuning as there are people to write about it. Procedures by Taylor, Foxborough, and Veritrack are included in the workbook. either directly or indirectly are concerned with a quarter decay recovery curve and the period of the process cycle. Any tuning method must first work with a proportional response because both reset and rate get their signals from the proportional response. Neither stands alone. When tuning, the reset and or rate are eliminated as much as possible while the proportional response is first adjusted. We will study methods by which we make the process cycle and methods by which we make a small step change in the process and make a reaction curve. Now work exercise two in your workbook.